and continue. Warriors all. Oh, replenishment is rather quick. Okay, let's check this. Okay, one turn for replenishment and growth and etc. Later I'm going to, well I'm going to see maybe I can liberate here or I'm just gonna sack it. And this guy should be good to declare war on the Western Empire. Or well, maybe I should hire some more people before I go and start the war. Hang on. Ready for orders. Oh, why I can't I need replenishment? What the hell? Okay. Growth required relation surplus. <clears throat> Are you ready to do your duty to the tribe? We need good fighters. Fight with us. It's a good life. Right. So I guess I need to unlock the second arrow. Ready for battle. Wait, what? No. Bastards. <laughs> Bastardians. Okay, who are they? I don't see them. <coughs> Measly 1000. Okay. Oh, Macedonia is expanding. It's weird. Right next to Hans, not, not good. Right, so I'm going to forget going there.
I'm gonna just try and see if I can take that city. Clear war. We're going to do it towards the Roman Empire. <laughs> they condemn great power, okay. Yeah, everyone <coughs> seems to like the hate. What? Okay. No more talk. Now is the moment for the swords to have the next words. <laughs> How they improve that? I don't understand. Improve the stance. Holy shit, so many enemies. Laying seeds to their hobbles. Right, can I take it without unclear? I'm gonna go ahead and try. Oh, okay, I can see barricades. No. That's not it. Right. Fuck it. Okay, maybe it's time to stop my uh, migration or whatever. Ready for battle. Oh, you f fuck. Really? Everything just went to shit after you end migration. Fuck me. As the main administrative center in a region, the settlement contains both trade and military buildings. Settlements are the main consumer of food supplies in a province. So it is vitally important to keep food production buildings upgraded to avoid shortages. What's this? Fine. <laughs> okay. Now I need the real food. Represented by the ruined building icons on the campaign map, deserted regions contain the ruins of settlements that have been abandoned. You may encounter reduced fertility around recently desolated settlements, but also resource-rich areas around those areas reclaimed by nature over time. Whoa. 10,000. How many enemies? Well, the hunts are likely there. So, yeah. Thank you. 
All factions have the option to abandon their settlements, desolating the surrounding region as they go. If the enemy is getting too close and it looks like you will lose a region, it is now possible to abandon its settlement, enacting a scorched earth policy to deny the invaders their prize. When you leave, a small amount will be added to your treasury. Any faction that resettles or colonizes will find a ruined settlement in a region with reduced fertility, a situation which only recovers over time. You are strong and wise, and yet I wonder why you stand aside from this war. I beg you, fight! Okay, so you joined with me, so I'll join with you. Some money. <laughs> Give me money. Now we have talked long, but we oh shit. <laughs> yeah. Let the West I mean Eastern Empire have fun with the hunts. You have recruited so many units, the treasury is buckling under the weight of their upkeep. Capturing new territory would spread the cost as well as putting your troops to good use. Okay. Warriors all! None will escape! For the tribe! Your legs come out? Probably don't need help. Yeah, there's nothing. Um. Province consists of three regions, each one containing a settlement, the hub of activity within it. One of these is always the provincial capital, a major walled settlement, right, whilst the remainder are minor settlements without defensive walls until fully upgraded. Burg. <laughs> okay, Burg. So it does. Oh, public order. Holy shit, 12 turns. Okay, it's like rebuilding the city. Okay. Um, what is this? Yeah, I don't have money, so I can't really take this either. Well, I have enough food. Just need money. Oh, 
the tribe! Your faction is now bankrupt. There is no money left in your treasury. But there are several things you can do to reverse the situation. Raise taxes if possible. Establish further trade agreements and trade routes, or disband unused units. Okay, what the hell does that mean? I love it. Yes, English is not my na native language, so no idea. Oh, I see. Everyone loves their daughters, don't they? Looks like it's time to raise taxes. Do 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 Really? Oh, you fucker. <laughs> oh, fuck. Click through. Okay, I'm gonna reload because I clicked wrong. We admire your merchants and their wares. We would both gain if trade was open between us. Oh, sure. I need money. Following a new agreement, a trade route has been opened between you and your new trading partner. Guard it well, as your enemies will attempt to raid it, potentially ruining your economy.
As requested, I give ear to your... This option is used to broker trade agreements. Once agreed, a trade route is opened between your territory and that of your trade partner, enabling goods to be traded for mutual advantage and profit. There is no limit to the number of trade routes a faction can have. Your... Okay. And there are Ostrogoths. Can they try? It's kind of weird there in the sea. Sit, friend, and let us talk. And let us have good wine until we Yeah, so that's no why they more. can't trade. Because they don't have a city. Anyways. We have need of talk, I'm sure. But we also need good food, a warm fire, and warm women. Welcome, worthy guest. I trust... Welcome, friend. Welcome. I, in my lord's name, will give you. All right. Are these motherfuckers? Just conquer them. We are, as always, a welcoming host to you. Okay. You will get what you deserve. Bastard. <coughs> Yeah, let's go check it. Let's go check what he has. Subjugate. Dissension and puppet state. Well. Screw them. Taking it. Destination reached.
Okay. What's next? <coughs> Troops can be stationed inside a settlement to defend it in the event of attack. Whilst there, they will also act as a deterrent to any rebellious tendencies amongst the population. Yeah, there will be rebellion. So. Farms, markets and ports supply food, and settlements and certain buildings within them consume it. Although food is automatically distributed across your territory, if total consumption is not matched by production, then food shortages can occur which can lead to unrest and ultimately rebellion. Your family's political power is determined by two factors, control and dominion. Your control over the political situation and the elites is determined by your ability to resolve political matters and react to other faction events and can be hard to attain. Your dominion over the faction and the people, however, depends on your family member's influence versus that of your faction's other nobles. For the tribe! No warrior like standing alone in battle. Should we not be sword brothers and what's for each other? Okay. The gods speak through thunder and storm, but they tell us to ally with you. Okay. What about trade? Fuck it. There is much honor in accepting this offer. For it is fair and just, like all Roman ideas. <laughs> what is that my daughter with? No, it's his daughter.
Yep, I knew that shit's gonna happen. the entire force, make sure a general is present. Select the settlement or the general and right-click on the point you wish to move to. When you release the cursor, the army will walk to the chosen spot. Well, for a um, replenishment. It's not a big army, so I just need to raise This tab shows all the units or ships of... Okay, where's my family? It's a jerk. Sajerix, my family. Oh, shit, Cor corruption. Is he a governor? <coughs> Influence is the accumulated nope. standing of a character within your faction, gradually increased or decreased through military victories, crushing defeats, his actions as a governor, or during dilemmas or missions. Although it cannot be increased through political actions, influence can be spent carrying them out in order to further a character's career or the interests of the party or family to which they belong. Thirsty for battle! Ready for orders! Why is he outside? Oh shit. Don't get it. Okay. 